we have Raymond uh, with them in this. Is that is that right, with them? Yes, sir. Okay, Raymond with them uh, is the manager of the new Lone Star Shooting Sport um, in Lubbock. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't know uh, if anybody you know people have been by, but I can tell you. Y'all just got some amazing things going on out there. Uh, why don't y'all tell us a little, or why don't you tell me a little bit about the uh, complex, the Lone Star Shooting Sport Complex? Um, and y'all are going to have a grand opening tomorrow, and we definitely want to talk about what's going on with that. Sure. Um, the facility is a 28,000 square foot, brand new state of the art indoor shooting and training facility. Um, the obvious things, you know, we're a retail facility and as well as um, a, a shooting range, but. There's going to be way more going on than what some would assume. Um, we have a firearms training simulator coming uh, second week of April. We have two large classrooms. Uh, one is configured to facilitate 50 students. The other currently is configured to facilitate about 20. Um, you know, everybody goes, oh, are you going to teach the LTC? Of course we're going to teach the LTC. But that's probably going to be on – a roster of 50 or so courses. Yeah. The LTC is the start. That, that's correct. Well, the basic handgun orientation right. is the start. But we're going to do firearms training from A to Z. We're going to do medical training, CPR, first aid. We'll probably offer that for free. Um, up to how to apply a tourniquet properly, treating a penetrating gunshot wound. Um, there, We're going to do some martial arts training. I'm probably going to do some knife defense stuff there. Um, and... Beyond that, um, we're gonna, you know, there's gonna be some life or death stuff, but at the end of the day, like, there's gonna be a huge entertainment value to what we have to offer as well. Um, you know, birthday parties, we're gonna do a bachelor party, a corporate event. I always joke around, I go, come do a shotgun wedding. Yeah. We had a wedding anniversary there last week. So <laughs> it's, it's a very comfortable space. Um, hopefully we can convert some non believers, and, um, this is something Lubbock has never seen the likes of a facility like this. How uh, now? I, I just because I've been to the facility, I, I just have to ask: How thick are the uh, is the glass between where the the showroom and the shooting <laughs> area? So that, that, that's pretty funny because that that was really kind of a big deal during construction. Mm-hmm. So the um, the glass panels are actually about, about, not quite three inches thick. Um, they're level four ballistic glass, um, so they're bullet resistant. There's mm-hmm. no such thing as bulletproof; it's right. bullet resistant. Um, each one of those panels weighs 275 pounds at the cost of six thousand dollars a panel. Wow! And so when they were installed, you know, um, it's funny because Tom was like, "Man, he goes, I spent all this money, and you know, I can't, you can't even tell what they are when they're in, in the thing." So I said, well, "Let's call these guys up. Let's get some samples, and let's make some displays." Yeah. So we they sent us three samples. We left one intact. We shot one with a 45 at about 15 feet. It didn't even penetrate the first layer of laminate. Mm-hmm. And then Tom shot one with a 6.5 Creedmoor at 25 yards, and it absorbed the round, and it did not penetrate. Wow. So it's uh, – and that's not an OSHA regulation. That's just something that Tom and Sean right. wanted to do just to kind of um, exacerbate, you know, the level of safety at this brand new five million dollars state of the art facility. Well, on, on top of that, five million dollars. Yeah, so yeah. it's a it's a major uh, undertaking, I guess you could say. But on top of that, you you can barely hear the guns in the other room. I mean, you, you go into the showroom and you might hear a few clicks or something, but it's sure. it's just not loud. And so it's it's uh, if if you're just not necessarily going there for for shooting, but you're going there to go to a classroom, you're going there to go to the showroom, it's quiet. Sure. So um, the the range itself is lined with a, an acoustic panel called PEP, mm-hmm. which is a, it's kind of a, a really a, a futuristic material. It's about two and a half inches thick um, of a, like a, I don't know, it's like a polypropylene foam. And, uh, when you walk into the ranges, one of the things that you'll notice is it's very acoustically flat, like almost like a recording studio. Mm-hmm. And so what that does is that that tries to minimize the overpressure event of a firearm discharging in a confined environment. So um, it's real, truly state of the art, and we try to it's really to make it as comfortable as possible. Well, yeah. obviously, there's there's other facilities like this in other towns. Yeah. So um, Scottsdale Gun Club was the first of kind of this business model in this industry. Um, but I mean, you know, they've, they've been in business now for, um, probably close to 20 years. I mean, it's evolved kind of, um, away from, I think what its original 
you know, intent was. Um, this place is, I mean, it was the old train HVAC warehouse the first time I walked into it. There wasn't even a wall up. And so this truly is cutting edge, state of the art technology. That's yeah. here in Lubbock, Texas. So something else I remember you saying was there's actually room for y'all to grow as well. It's you're only using what about two thirds maybe of of the property. So the facility, the the, the entire building is forty three thousand square feet. We are currently operating in only twenty eight thousand square feet of it. Our goal for next year is we would like to have a fifty yard indoor rifle range, but we definitely have quite a bit of room to grow in that building. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, also, as far as your your gun selection now, when I went in, y'all had pistols out all over the place, mm-hmm. but y'all hadn't got your rifles out yet. But you were telling me y'all are going to have just a huge selection of rifles as well. The rifles are out, so are we, yeah, we got the carousels in this week. Um, you know, that's been a it's been hurting my feelings having all those guns stacked to the ceiling in the safe and uh, nothing on the showroom floor in regards to the rifles. But long long guns are out, and we're uh, we're ready for our grand opening. So this is kind of a little off topic, but uh, Ted Cruz said that the AR-15 was the best-selling rifle in America. Have you noticed that be, to be true? Um, you know, the thing is, there's a lot of stigma around the AR-15. I mean, mm-hmm. It's, it's uh, you know, the U.S. military utilizes a, ver- a version of it. Right. The civilian version is not what the military uses. No. And so, um, you know, it's... You know, it's America's gun. Mm-hmm. You know, and so it's, it's, it's common technology. Um, you know, there are... I, I, I'm not sure what the statistics are yeah. in regards to you know how many are privately owned in the United States, but um, I mean it's just it's 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 just common technology. Well, Raymond, this is a, a, a big weekend for you. Tell us about your grand opening. We only have about a minute or so left. So our grand opening is going to be tomorrow. We have FNH USA um, coming out. They've brought a full auto M249 saw, so um, you'll be able you'll be able to come in and. and Try a belt fed. Uh, they'll have a full auto scar, a full auto P90. Um, Julie Wasted from Lucas Oil is going to be there. Um, we have um, McKeith out from Dead Air Suppressor, so he'll have some demo guns available. Uh, we're going to be doing some raffles and some giveaways, and it should be a, a pretty big time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, how how many uh, raffles do you have? How many giveaways do you have? What what are you looking at as far as that's concerned? So I want to say we've got close to 20 AR-15 lowers. Um, we've got uh, at least one handgun. I'm not sure what else Tom and Sean have discussed, but we, we're, we're really going to do it up. Um, we have uh, Jameson Ward's going to be out doing uh, laser engraving, so we'll be able to do custom laser engraving. And i got to tell you, if you have not seen that machine work, it's almost like watching fire for the first time. Mm. It's mes- mesmerizing. Yeah. Well, uh, well Raymond, what, we, we appreciate you coming out. And uh, what, what time does it start? 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. 10 a.m. Okay, to 8 p.m. So y'all going to be out there for be a while. All, that's all tomorrow. Day, all day. So, yes, this is something everybody, even you don't even have to be a real gun enthusiast to come out and enjoy that, I'm sure. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for coming in and sharing that with us. Looking forward to it. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. A new uh, Lone Star Shooting Sports. I, I have to confess, I, I'm having a hard time visualizing everything that, that that's. Now you took the tour, so you've seen I did. this. Yep. It's it's hard for me to visualize all the things that they're talking about uh, and how you put that together with a shooting range. This is obviously something that's more than just a shooting range. Yeah, and I'll I'll tell you what, uh, it's it's not just shooting range. They've got classrooms. They've got um, they've got three different shooting ranges. They've got one. That's a standard just just going in shooting range. Uh, oh, they got four. Yeah, I think it's four. Mm-hmm. Well, I think they said the, that they're planning on putting another one in there, but I think they only have the the standard shooting range. They've got the um, the shooting range with the the smart shooting range, which mm. has the the papers like spin and stuff, so that you can be prepared to shoot whenever it turns forward. Helps your hand eye coordination a little bit, and then they've got the uh, VIP range. And they actually have a VIP, um, what would you call it, a, a subscription? Or, or, yeah, yeah they've got a lounge. I mean, membership. it's just a membership, right. And then um, on top of that, they also have, uh, like I said, they have a, a gun store out front, which is has awesome guns, all guns all over. They have Black Rifle Coffee. It's the only place in Lubbock to get Black Rifle Coffee. And I know that Sean Hannity supports Black Rifle Coffee and and uh, other people. That, I mean, if you've had it, people just love it. And it's uh, their prices are pretty much the same as what you get online, but you don't have shipping. 
So it's... Uh, and we've had a couple of people that have asked about where this place is. Uh, some, maybe some way or another we forgot to uh, give an address, but it is at, at 6020 43rd Street. Now, this is this is outside the loop, and so, what and it's behind uh, Lubbock Power Sports. So I'll, I'll tell you probably one of the easiest ways to get there is um, when uh, Marsha Sharp in the loop go uh, – on the Marsha Sharp towards Wolferth, but not very far. You just take that first right. I think it's, what, 73rd Street? Something else. I don't know. There's a street right there, right after you get on. And you just go back there. It goes behind at home. Yeah, just like you were going and, to the old Sam's. Yeah. Just right. like that, except go behind the old Sam's. Right. You go behind where the old Sam's was, and you just uh, you pretty much run into it, um, and, and it's back well, in there. Well, it's 60, 20. 43rd Street. Yeah. So there you have it. So get your GPS going. Well, it's going to be something spectacular. I know that just from what I've heard, it is going to be, or is, something spectacular. Uh, and, and again, their grand opening tomorrow, 8 to... 10. 8 to 10. Tomorrow. No, no, 10 to 8. 10 to 8. Yeah, 10 to 8. 10 to 8 tomorrow. Right. A lot of raffles that you can go in and sign up for. You mm-hmm. know, and I, I would say this is, uh, even if you're not like a like a super gun enthusiast this is something that you would enjoy looking at of course they're going to have all kind of classes and you could get your cdl there i guess right your but, your license is now the ltc the license to carry um they're going to be doing that but they're going to be doing a lot of other things they're going to be doing um a lot of training um both uh, hand-to-hand type training as well as gun training um and, and honestly we don't have anything like that in lubbock and it's it's something that we needed, and so I really hope they do really well and go out there and support them tomorrow in their grand opening. Again, it's a, what was sixty twenty forty third forty third Street.